Hey guys, Todd Durkin here. Happy New Year. I hope your 2014 is off to one heck of an extraordinary start. Right now I'm at Mammoth Mountain, California. I'm about to go down this hill, but I want to share with you the 10 ways to be extraordinary in 2014. Yeah, the 10 ways to be extraordinary. And instead of me just telling you about you know, how to be extraordinary, how about I show you as we go down. 10 ways to be extraordinary. Number one, you gotta focus, right? Every year we talk about we gotta focus. Well, right now you have to focus like never before. What are you going to focus on to be great in 2014? What is it that you want to do? You got to make sure you dream big things. Now, it's easy being busy, but I want you making sure you're focused on the right tasks. So what are those things? That leads us to point number two of the 10. Be strategic. Yeah, be strategic. So if you do your big five, what five things are you going to accomplish in 2014? That's what it takes. And then you have to get after it. You have to have discipline. You have to have hard work. As I carve this mountain up, baby. A little icy here. It's January 1st as I go down this hill. Holy schmoly. Let's get after it. That's right. You got to be strategic. That's right. Which way do I go? There's going to be a fork in the road. Let's go over to number three. Number three is this. Of the ten ways to be extraordinary. Number three is you have to rise up to the level of your expectations. Otherwise, you're going to sink down to the level of your competition. Okay? Now, we always talk about that with our athletes. What are you willing to do to be great? You have to rise up. You have to, you have to get after it. Set your extraordinary goals. Set them big. Get after it and do it. Set big expectations. Oh shoot! I see a little jump in the action. Woo! Very good. Number four. You got to be in great physical shape. Number four. Be in great shape. Let me ask you, my friends. What are you going to do this year in 2014 to be in the best shape of your life? Yeah, what are you going to do? Do you need to lift more weights? Do you need to do more cardio? Do you need to stretch more, get more into flexibility? Okay? Maybe you need to join a gym. Maybe you need to hire a trainer. Maybe you need a new workout partner. I don't know. Choose something that's going to allow you to be great and then do it. And then make sure you do it at an extraordinary level. Very, very important on that. Number six. Oh, yeah. Number six. As we go down, by the way, I ain't going GoPro. I got the handheld in my hand. You can see my ski pole right there. Oh, yeah. Number six, clean it up. Clean it up. I'm talking about your nutrition. Yeah, you got to eat better. 2014, what are you going to feed your spe- yourself? What are you going to feed your soul, your spirit? You got to eat more salads, more greens, more fish and chicken. Clean that junk up out of the trunk. No more garbage food. That's key, right? Number six. Let me ask you this question right here. Number six, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail in 2014? What would you do? What would it be? That leads me in number six to say you got to take more risk. What are those things that you're going to take more risk in? Is it business? Is it relationships? Is it personal? Whatever that is, you got to take more risks here in 2014, point number six. Point number seven of ten ways to be extraordinary is you must play hard and build adventure into your life. Holy shit. Woo-hoo-hoo. That's right. We got icy conditions. We talk adventure in your life in point number seven. I'm screaming down a mountain. You got to have adventure. What do you... Oh, shoot. If I fall, you fall with me. I got my helmet on. I hope you have your helmet on, too. Woo! Right? What? Do more things that make you laugh, that make you smile, that maybe make you cry if you fall flat in your face. But do them and do them. Oh, me. Woo! Screaming down a mountain, baby. Better every day. Better every day. Point number eight. Point number eight. Oh, my gosh. I got to catch my breath. When it comes to being great on this, every single day, you must make the right choices. What choices are you going to make to play big? I don't know, in 2014, what are you going to do to play at your maximum level? I don't care what it is, but you have to play big. You have to play at your maximum level. So what is it going to be to play big? Make the right choices. Number nine, extraordinary mindset. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Surround yourself with great people. Do all the little things it takes to be great. I watched a movie last night called Radio. Cuba Gooding, Cuba Gooding Jr., okay, uh, he was awesome in this movie. Watch movies that move your soul. Really, really powerful on that. And point number 10, on 10 ways to be extraordinary in 2014 is to be extraordinary. To be extraordinary, 
live extraordinary. So what are you gonna do to be extraordinary? You know, Walt Disney says, everything speaks. Every single thing speaks. Like I was just screaming down that mountain. So what are you gonna do? What you say, what you create, what you write, what you put out there, what you read, who you surround yourself with, how you look, every single thing speaks. So be extraordinary, live extraordinary in 2014. Guys, that's it. 10 ways to be extraordinary in 2014. Yeah, I had to share some adventure with you. I almost crashed a couple times, had a little, had a little risk, took some adventure, and got after it. Peace, God, God bless, and have an extraordinary 2014. Love you guys.